My name is Moses Mudamanduya. Um, and I'm Alice Mothama. We are here as a family to clarify and set the record straight on a matter that is already in the public domain and known to Kenyans, specifically Machakos County residents. The matter referred to is that our mother, one Agnes Kavindu, taking a deliberate decision and steps to publicly embarrass the family for her own personal gain and benefit. Her actions are inconsiderate and disrespectful. To us as a family, my sister and myself are here representing our siblings who share our view and stand in this matter. Our mother, Agnes Kavindu, was indeed married to our dad. Unfortunately, the union was riddled with problems whereby it was difficult for our father to contain or cover the many problems that continued to arise. And this is what led to their ultimate divorce in 1983. They parted ways up until 1996 when we asked our dad to let her live with us. Our dad being a kind and good person, Axel to our request, as always, putting his children and family first. <clears throat> Later on, when our father asked her to move to this house, In order to enable renovations in our other home, she covertly left the home in yet another incident of disrespect and display of selfishness. She went and sought funding from Jubilee and filed the case in court, seeking a divorce for a non-existent marriage. As stated before, our mother has only always opposed and openly disregarded the ideas, ideals, values, and aspirations of our family. On all matters, and not just matters politics, this pattern only emphasizing that her sole purpose and goal has always been to seize any opportunity to publicly embarrass and challenge our dad. In 2010, when our dad was serving in the ninth parliament as a government chief whip under the President Kibaki's government, and the country was going through the referendum that birthed the 2010 constitution. My dad at the time was supporting the Yes Brigade. And much to our dismay and horror, our mother without consulting, anyone went ahead and joined the No Group. She did so publicly, once again, in an attempt to cause shame and embarrassment to our dad and the entire family. In the year 2017, when our father was campaigning for NASA coalition, she once again, having absolutely no respect for our home, decided to once again misuse our home by hosting groups that were opposed to NASA, and in addition, went ahead and joined the Jubilee Party and ran for the women representative seat in Machakos County. Her actions once again betraying her whereby her sole purpose was to create embarrassment to our dad and the family as a whole, with her benefit being selfish gain in monetary value. This is confirmed by the very fact that after losing in 2017, she was awarded with her appointment as part of the Building Bridges Initiative Task Force. From this point, when she started earning money through the allowances paid as a result of being part of the task force, she ceased all communication with us, her children. <clears throat> Not one of us is aware of where she lives, having completely severed ties. The situation is so difficult that our eldest sister sent a message stating that she is praying that our mother does not win, because her winning will be the same as the devil himself winning. From what we know... would wish that she would stop embarrassing our dad, stop putting us children in difficult situations, being, receiving so many phone calls, being asked, what is your mom doing? Yeah. Why is she doing this? We're just fed up of it. We're not being used to settle any political scores. This is our stand. We're tired of it. 
as my sister said, it's been happening repeatedly, and I want to put an end to it. Sorry, just repeat the question. I must be because of her continued uh, insistence to continue embarrassing her family. It's not the first time, it's not the second time. Since 2010, mm -hmm. since the no referendum, it's been continuous. And I think we thought it fit to come and at least uh, give our view on her actions. So maybe the last question is about so feel free to have some. Yep. We know. Having tried to find out her whereabouts, is that she's now living with and has been married by a man named Wanyonyi. Whereas this is her absolute right, and not one of us would question or begrudge her her happiness or in any way purport to determine her rights as a Kenyan. It is, however, our expectation that she continues to do so without continuously using and dragging the family name into her pursuits in order to further her selfish needs, whilst the same is to the detriment and embarrassment of our family. Her assertion on Tuesday was that she not only has the financial resources, but also the political muscle to seek the senatorial seat having been sent by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya with strict instructions to ensure that no outside party prevailed in Ukambani. This assertion on her part is evidence of how unaware, ill-suited and incapable she is of leadership. The statement appearing to mock the very idea of democracy and seemingly promoting intolerance. It is clear that our mother's candidature is merely a move to fight our dad politically, where the government is determined to fight him on all sides. Let us not forget the unlawful arrest of our dad during the Msambweni by-election, for which to date we do not know the charge or offence that occasioned this arrest. And to this end they have sought our mother and now the Wiper Party leader, both of whom interestingly enough share one common factor that our father left them and moved on, and now they seem to be suffering from an extreme case of sour grapes. The issue here today is really quite straightforward. Our mother has chosen to completely disassociate herself with us and our family, choosing to pursue her new life with her new husband and her new ambitions. She has failed to show respect and regard to our dad, who single-handedly brought us up and was accommodating to her at a time when she greatly struggled and her life was difficult. Yet it is our dad and this family that she continuously shows disrespect to and disregard for, only thinking about herself, pursuing selfish monetary gain at whatever cost. She has failed to show an iota of self-respect, allowing herself to be used by the highest bidder as a pawn or tool to settle political scores. How then can she purport to help the people of Matakos County? Does she even live or have a residence here in Matakos County? Does she have a heart and mind of service or a heart and mind of selfishness? Does she have a plan and manifesto for the people of Matakos or will that be dictated to her by her owners? Does she care about the people of Matakos or is her sole purpose in this senatorial bid yet another opportunity for her to selfishly gain whilst causing embarrassment to the family. The answers we believe are evident. Therefore, this is a kind plea to the residents of Machakos County to please note that a vote cast in favor of our mother, Agnes Kabindu, is a lost vote because her motivation to run for this seat is not to better the lives of the people of Machakos, but to selfishly gain and continue to create disharmony and show his disrespect to a family that she has long since abandoned. Thank you. Thank you. More information just apart from the name. Yeah. It's 20, yeah, before that, perhaps 2016 even. At this present time, because of this, and by elections, because of when your mom is 